What's up, HXFers? Thanks for tuning into this episode of HXF TV. Just a quick little update on the open for you. Um, 16.1 is done in the books. Hallelujah. That was a rough one. But uh, the scores are in, and we currently have a tie for first place. Yes, a tie between red team and green team. Each have 55 points. Uh, blue team's running in third right now with 51 points. And uh, the orange team is rounding up fourth with 49 points. So you guys can see how tight this this competition can be, um, how close it can be. So make sure you guys are getting helping your team get the most points possible each week. Um, we had a great first week of turning out, putting out effort, um, keep up the good work. Orange team walked away with an extra five points for uh, winning the Spirit Award. So way to go, Orange team. Um, you guys are going to be hard to beat, <laughs> but uh, fun nonetheless. Um, some changes for this week that we're going to that we're going to be doing. Um, we're not going to have a 4:30 class. This will give you guys an opportunity to come in. Um, get warmed up, decorate your area if you want. Um, that way we can really kick this thing off at 5.30. We're also going to be running heats. Um, we're not going to really worry about those that are taking part in the open as far as having them go in the first heats. We're just going to be putting out a number of people that are going to be in each heat for each team. And then uh, whoever's ready to work out, they will pretty much um, you know, just sign up for the, their heat. Um, I'll put a warm up up again. And it'll give you a, a decent amount of time so you have you know knowledge of how much time you need before you're going to be working out um, to warm up so just uh, a couple changes that we're going to be making for this this week for friday night lights and uh, hopefully with no curveballs by dave castro we will uh, be able to get done sooner than 8 30 at night but uh, thanks for uh, sticking in there and um Everybody, we had a blast last week. Looking forward to the next four weeks. Uh, one more thing I want to talk about is the Olympic lifting class. Um, we had a huge influx of interest in the Olympic lifting class. Uh, obviously, we had to come up with a, a cap for the class. There's no way we could have 30 people in the Olympic lifting class. We just don't have the size nor the manpower for that to give you guys the quality that we're looking for. So we made a couple changes. We put a cap on it of 12 people, and um, we also decided to make it a three-month block. So instead of just doing month to month and getting people coming and going, we decided to make it a three full month block. That way we can get the most out of it, do a little test retest in the beginning and the end, and um, just just get the optimal um, performance out of all you guys uh, over those three months and kind of get you guys dialed in on uh, on what we're trying to do. So. Uh, the way the way I made it fair as far as those that signed up is I put everybody's name in a hat and I picked them at random. So if you have not received a phone call from me, that means that you did not get picked for this first um, three month cycle. Um, I will make sure that uh, those that did not get a chance to do it uh, this month or get a call from me this for for this first three month block, you know, have a uh, first opportunity to um, jump into the next class. Um, but for now. The class is full, um, so I apologize if you didn't get in, but um, you will get an opportunity to do that next time for sure. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, looking forward to uh, the, the next four weeks of the Open. Looking forward to getting this Olympic lifting class up and started. Um, and uh, I will see you guys in the box. Later.